Hello all, welcome to my channel on Android. Today I will demonstrate you how to record audio and store the audio file on external storage and how to play the same. Let's start with developing the project. You can just click on start Android new Android studio project. Then you can select the empty activity. You can click on next. Then you need to provide the name of your application. Here I am giving the name of the application that is record audio demo then you can select the platform i am selecting the kotlin and then you can click on ok once your building project is done you can start coding for the same before start coding for the same i am just i just want to define my design first so here you can click on so layout decoration so it will uh, properly display your design then you can select on your hello world and you can click on delete now first of all I want a text view over here this project is related to what so you can just define one text view and from design palette you can decorate your text view right now I'm just giving one style that is text style bold text size that is for example uh, 50 dB and text color that is primary dark and what you want to write into text view so it's a record audio application right so uh, i'm just giving the name that is record audio app you can uh, redefine it here 30 dp or you can make it 40 dp also once it is fine uh, you can take a uh, three buttons over here one is for the start uh, recording another is for the uh, stop recording and the third one is for the play recording so i'm taking here one button that is for the start you can uh, in for the constraint then you can take one more button over here and uh, that is for the definitely for the stop and then take you can take the third one third button that is related to play the audio clip right uh, so there are three buttons i had taken over here in my uh, project the first button name is start the second one second button is stop and the third button is that is play now let's start coding for the same so here in main activity first of all you need to understand that whenever you want to record audio you need a permission from the user i want to record your audio second thing whenever you want to record audio where you want to store that audio clip file so uh, you need a one more permission from the user that is write to the external storage right so first of all we will write coding for the permission if activity compact dot check for the self permission and the permission is manifest dot permission dot record audio if this permission is not granted by the user so package manager dot permission granted if this permission is not granted by the user then request to the user that please grant the permission so you can just request for the permission the permission that is here in array you can define the list of the permission so i'm just uh, defining the first permission that is manifest dot permission dot record audio the second permission that re uh, a much required permission and that permission is uh, manifest dot permission dot write to external storage and i'm just passing here request code it means uh, once user uh, allow this permission and the request code is 111 then uh, whatever you on permission right on request permission result if request code is equal equal triple one and grant result of zero equal equal package manager dot permission granted then what you want to do here you can write the code first of all i uh, i want to make a button one dot is enabled is equal to false it means uh, i don't want to enable my button first uh, the second button that is related to stop that also i want to make it disable so is enabled is equal to false 
I will make this button number one enable if user is granting the permission. So uh, you can make it here button dot is enabled is equal to true. Same you can write here button dot is enabled is equal to true. Once your code is done fine, you can just check. See, uh, you can execute your application and you can test over in or uh, test or in uh, emulator that what it will do it will first check for the permission is that permission is granted if this permission is not granted then what it will do it will uh, see but uh, my program is running uh, fine this button is false uh, but see uh, i need to define this my permission in android manifest file so you can just click your android manifest.xml and you need to define the permission over here so uses permission write external storage and uses permission you need a record audio once you define this two permission over here then your application will be running again and now it will asking you for the permission see this button uh, is disabled that is stop button is disabled it is asking me for the permission that uh, uh, allow or not allow right so uh, what i am doing see uh, you can just click on deny uh, another permission it is asking me that is uh, do you want to access it i am just clicking on deny after this once uh, uh, this permission is granted to the user right uh, uh, is permission is granted or not granted you can just check once it is done what we want to do we want to write the code for uh, each button one is for the start uh, audio uh, record audio another is for the stop recording and the third one is for the play once it is done first of all let me start coding I need a variable path where to store your data right so uh, whenever you want to access your uh, external SD card you can um, access the folder by calling environment dot get external storage directory this is my path dot to string so uh, I'm converting into string then you can define the name of your file for example my uh, file name is my record a my recording dot you can define the extension right now i am just uh, giving the extension that is dot 3gp now if activity compact dot permission is granted button is enabled now you what you want to do if that permission is granted then what you want to do so you can simple see uh, here you can write the code button dot set on click listener it means whenever user click on the first button that is uh, start recording so what we need to do we need a one variable for the recording so i'm just declaring here as an instance variable mr colon media recorder uh, you need to uh, define here it with the late initializer and then you can initialize it over here in my constructor uh, in my on create function i am initializing it mr is equal to media recorder once you initialize this i want to start recording over here so you just need to define what the first whenever you want to record anything you need a mic right so mr dot set audio source is the most important thing uh, let me clarify here we need a media recorder dot audio source dot mic but what the issue is in emulator mic is not available right so we will test it uh, test the same application on my actual device so uh, once you define the audio source we need to define that what kind of output file you want to generate so what is your output format so you can define a media recorder dot set output format for this you need a media recorder dot output format dot 3gp why because we want to store it uh, output file as a 3gp format then you need to define your encoding style so you can uh, set here set audio 
encoder in audio encoder you need to define the output format dot amr nb amr nb is what adaptive multi rate it is the format for optimizing the speech coding once you define the audio encoder then you need to uh, media recorder dot you need to uh, define the output file it means uh, uh, the recorded file you want to store where right so you need to define the path for the uh, where you want to store your file what happens to see uh, i define my path here in my path external storage i define the name of the file that is my recording and i am saving it in a path that particular path so once you save this file uh, but what we need to do we need to st uh, the file is created but we need to start recording right so you need to call the function that is media recorder dot prepare media recorder dot start once it is starting recording right so definitely whenever we are starting recording we need to enable the stop button right so i'm just uh, doing what button two dot is enabled is equal to true why because i want to make the enable uh, stop button enable whenever user click on the start button once it is done right so you can say that your uh, this is the code for start recording now we need to write the code for stop recording whenever user click on the stop button what you want to do so definitely button two dot set on click listener whenever user click on this we just need to stop the recording but whenever you are stop the recording definitely our uh, this button the main button that is uh, button dot is enabled is equal to true and here uh, whenever user click on start recording so my current button should be disabled so you can make it here button dot is enabled is equal to false so uh, alternatively i am making false and true false and true my start and stop button by by, by default i am making on my play button right because uh, may might be a chance whenever user open another uh, time that application my uh, i want to load my another play uh, audio file so at, at that moment user can play that particular button this is the reason why i am uh, enabling my play button right now this is the uh, time for the play recording now how how to play the recorded file very simple using media player you can play the recording so uh, now it's time to write the code for button number three whenever user click on button number three we want to play a media file media file is available in uh, our path uh, particular path that we had set earlier so mp is equal to here you can create an instance of media player now you can set the data source mp dot set data source and you can provide the path once you provide the path now you will be able to prepare for your media player and you can just start your media player right whenever you start your media player what happens uh, definitely my uh, <coughs> media player will be started whenever you start your media player definitely what we want to do uh, whenever user click over here on stop we will just disable that particular button is enabled is equal to false let's just check our application is working properly or not if this is not working properly then we will uh, make some changes to our application let's see see here it is asking me for the permission i am allowing both for the both permission once you allow for the both permission uh, let me click on start whenever you click on start see my stop button is enabled and my record is uh, my uh, whatever i am speaking over here it is being recorded right but as the mic is not available on the emulator so whatever i speak it will not be listened for this particular application but you can just click on stop whenever you click on stop it will be disabled and the start will be enabled now whenever you click on play definitely it will play that particular file that particular file is available over here in device file explorer you can just click on mnt then you can click on sd card 
and see here the one file is there that is my recorded dot 3gp definitely your application will be able to record your uh, whatever you speak and um, the same thing that will be played but as you know mic is not available in emulator so i am not able to test this is uh, this application properly but i have one option to test it properly you can execute your application on your original device right so what i am doing i am just testing my current application on my original device so whenever you want to uh, test your application into your original device here you can connect your application through uh, usb and then you can select your uh, original device see here i am selecting my original device that is vivo 1806 whenever you are testing this application on 1806 before this i want to show you here my screenshot of my application right so here you can click on log log cat here in log cat you can click on camera so camera will uh, you can uh, recapture the same thing see here you need to select the first emulator see i am selecting vivo right then you can click on camera whenever you click uh, capture capturing see this is my screen this is my screen right now i want to execute my application right so uh, let me execute this application into my mobile right i'm uh, taking capturing my screen see uh, you can recapture my skin my screen see uh, it is asking me permission i am just clicking on allow uh, so it is asking me permission for again right so i am clicking on allow it uh, now my start button is enabled and i can start the recording let me click on start and whatever i speak it will be recorded see i am clicking on start button my start button is clicked my start button is clicked my record whatever i am speaking over here it is being recorded over here in my my record.3gp file until and unless i press stop it will be uh, it will record my all the things whatever i speak over here let me click on stop whenever i click on stop see my start button will be disabled now i will click on play and you will be able to listen that it is being recorded or not let me click on play see i'm clicking on start button my start button is clicked my start button is clicked my record whatever i'm speaking over here it is being recorded or not my start button is clicked my record dot 3gp file until and unless i press stop it will be uh, it will record my all the things whatever i speak over here let me click see so what happens it is working properly in my original device uh, you can record your audio you can uh, uh, store that particular file on on your desired path and you can play the same so uh, what i did i used the two permission from the user one is external storage i, I stored that particular uh, file on uh, <clears throat> their external storage device as well as I use the permission for the recording audio and once user has granted me this two permission I set the output format audio source encoding and set that particular file and then start the recording until and unless user click on stop then I just use create an instance of the media player and using that particular media player I am able to play the voice that that has been recorded over here that's it from my side thank you for listening me if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you all